This tutorial is on restricting movement of objects using Active Inspire. So I've got my next page set up for a um, calculation that I'd like my students to be able to work through, but I don't want them to be able to see the answer straight away. So I'm going to cover it up and rather than using the reve revealer where it would just black out the whole page, I want the students to be able to see the picture and the question. So I'm just going to cover up my answer using a box. So I'll use my shapes menu, I'll use a rectangle and I'll fill it with the colour. I'll choose orange to fill my box with and then I just draw my box over the answer. Now I'll go back and check, check the selector button. Now that box, I don't want to inadvertently move it so that the students get to see an answer before I want them to see it. So I want that box just to move up and down. I'm going to go to my browsers and select property browser. And I'm going to find the restrictor menu, which is down near the bottom. And then I'll move down this to can move. And instead of can move freely, I want this box only to move vertically. So I just select that. Now that box will only move up and down. So I can't move it side to side, only up and down. So that works really well. Then I set up a page, which I'll show you now, for a some PD that I was doing with some staff. And in this case, I've got a group with the arrow and, and some words attached. The words are the same colour as my background. So when I drag my arrow out, I get the words coming out as well. But that can only move horizontally. So I've selected horizontal. Horizontally can move horizontally on this um, for these objects, grouped objects. 